health alert in Oswego County this morning. The health department is preparing for aerial spraying later this week. So the move comes after four samples collected near Toad Harbor Swamp in West Monroe tested positive for Triple E virus. The exact dates have not yet been finalized. Well, starting today, a window is open to give victims of child sex abuse justice. No matter how many years have passed, people sexually abused as children are able to sue the person responsible. The one-year window for victims is all part of the Child Victims Act. Well, drive sober or get pulled over. That's the message, of course, state officials are hammering home ahead of a new enforcement initiative. Beginning today, you can expect to see more patrols on the roads and there will be more sobriety checkpoints as well. And this will be through Labor Day, which the governor says is one of the deadliest times of the year for crashes involving drunk and drugged drivers. Christopher Block, the convicted rapist and kidnapper who cut off his ankle monitoring bracelet and then went on the run, has now been transferred. News Channel 9 learning that Block has been sent to Elmira Correctional Facility. A state administrative law judge made that decision to send him back to prison during a parole revocation hearing last week. Well, Governor Andrew Cuomo directing all flags in New York State to be lowered to half staff today for retired New York State Police Sergeant Jeffrey Sakura, the 9-11 hero who died of illnesses linked to Ground Zero. So those calling hours are from 3 to 8 Thursday evening. His funeral follows at 10 o'clock Friday morning, and both of those will be at the Immaculate Conception Church in Fayetteville. New this morning, $400 million in federal money will soon be making its way into communities dealing with an opioid epidemic. It's part of a billion dollar federal investment to fight addiction. So that grant money will pay to make drug abuse treatment a part of traditional health care facilities. It will also provide more support in rural areas as well as pay to expand the behavioral health workforce.